We're making sticker sheets on the iPad using Cricut Design Space. Let's go. All right, the first thing that we're going to want to do is upload our images. I have a background layer and I have a sticker layer. We're going to insert those and then we're going to take the sticker layer. We're going to go to duplicate the layer in the background. We're going to hit edit, type print and cut, click on it. We're going to change it to just a basic cut. I'm going to make that black. Hit apply. You're going to select both of those sticker layers and you're going to align them centered and then you're going to go to actions and attach. So let that hang out for a second. Let's go over to the background. You're going to do the same thing. We're going to duplicate it. The one in the back we're going to turn into a cut only layer. Basic black apply, select them both, align, center, and then we're going to go to actions and attach. Then we're going to duplicate that four more times. So you have five layers, select all those. You're going to edit, align, center, actions, and attach. You're going to drag your stickers on top. You're going to select both of those and then attach. We're going to go to edit and we're going to rotate it 270 degrees. Then we're going to drag it up to the corner. We're going to go to actions and duplicate so we can get two per page. We're going to select both of those and again attach. Go to edit and resize to whatever size you cut out your sticker sheets. Mine are five and a half inches tall by four and a quarter inches wide. Now that we have those the right size, we're going to click on make it. Once we get over into this, we're going to click on the on mat, turn off the bleed, and then you want to make sure that you're printing it to whatever your print settings are. I've already printed this page. We're gonna go to next, and now I can load it in my sh machine. We're going to click on I've already printed, click on sticky note. Sticky note should be an option in your materials list, so go and find it. You may have to adjust the cut pressure slightly depending on your machine and your materials that you're using. Now we can load our machine and do the cut. I hope that helped you figure out how to do sticker sheets using the Cricut on the iPad. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. You can also book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me and be more than happy to work with you one-on-one -on, -one on something that you want to learn more about. Have a good day.